Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is We Are Genius. Guys, today I am with a new video around Arduino and ESP8266. So guys, in this video we will try to interface ESP8266 module with Arduino using standard AT commands. So this will be like a simple Arduino sketch that will send AT commands to the ESP8266 module connected to the Arduino by using general GPIO and using software's real library because I am using over here an Arduino you know and as you know that has only one serial port which is used for debugging so we will try to send some data to a server using the ASP2 system module over HTTP GET protocol so we will send some data from Arduino and we will print out the response onto the console so being said that let's get started guys Uh, so guys this is the Arduino that I am going to use that is nothing but the Arduino with the ESP8266 modules. So the connection goes like this over here on Arduino as the serial port is going to be used for programming as well as for debugging purpose I have used software serial and used GPIO 10 and 11 as the RX and text pin to communicate with the ESP8266 module. So in Arduino uh, it goes something like this the pin 10 and 11 that is nothing but acting like RX and TX is connected to ESP8266 module which is again powered by external 3.3 volt supply and over here it is again has RX and TX the RX pin of Arduino is directly connected to the ESP266 TX pin. As this is having 3.3 volt logic and this is 5 volt logic, it won't be issue while communicating with, uh, communicating from your ESP266 to the Arduino. But from connecting from TX to RX needs one voltage shifter because over here this is 5 volt again and this is 3.3 so this is as acting as an input so if 5 volt goes directly to the RX pin of the ESP266 this may damage your ESP266 module so for this I have used one 2 and 7000 uh, N channel MOSFET based level shifter so for that you can check my earlier video on that how to make it and this works perfectly with up to 11 5200 baud rate so up to this I have checked, uh, I have not gone beyond that and this Arduino over here is powered through USB only. So let's make these connections and we will get back to the IDE and see if it works. So as over here this is the code that I am going to use with my Arduino to like provide AT commands to my ESP8266 module. Uh, so let me go through the code, I will just basically explain what each block does. So over here in the starting as I have said earlier I am using Arduino Uno that's why I am having only one serial port but to communicate with ESP8266 I am using general GPIO with software serial library so that it can be used as serial port. So next are like uh, some definitions like what is my Wi-Fi password, Wi-Fi SSID the server IP, then the timeout for the serial port, the, like over here you get two functions like uh, continue and halt, I'll, I'll get back to that and number of parameters that you want to send to the server. So over here, this is the initialization of the software serial port and the first function that comes over here is the exception. This is called whenever some exception occurs in while running the port. So this basically takes one parameter that is the message that you want to print out into the serial console and it again goes into a while true loop and that executes forever. So the next function is the read response data function that takes one keyword as parameter that is nothing but a string and there are a couple of definition over here. Now next is the deadline 
that again millis are the current time stamp plus the time out which i have defined earlier so this what it does is it waits for the particular specified time until it like finds the specified keyword if it finds over here on the response then again it returns or it will wait till the time ends or the deadline time is reached so over here this is basic comparison then this is the character one character is read from the serial input buffer then over here i have formed a string by adding each characters to one string variable and this over here search for the keyword inside the string and if it finds it returns true that it has found the keyword and print out the response and if it doesn't find the keyword it same print out the response but it returns a false so that you know we have got the response we require or not now next function is the send command function that accepts three parameter the command by acknowledgement we are looking for or and stop on error that tells if error has occurred it will halt or it will go on executing now over here the first thing is it prints out the data or the command into the serial port that means command has been sent and it should be used with println because println provides a carrier return at the end of each or uh, parameter it has sent or like after sending command it will print out a carrier return into the serial port then it, the read response data function is called which search for the acknowledgement or the keyword over here defined over here and if the keyword is not found it will uh, again check for the stop on error parameter and if that is true if it is like said that if error is occurred it has to stop so it will print out a message fail to execute and it will halt forever and uh, if that is defined as false then it will just return from the function and it will return a false and if it is successfully found then it will return us true so coming into this initialization uh, it over here initialize the serial port for the esp266 module and it starts executing or providing command to the esp266 like 80 plus gmr that gives you the former id 80 plus cw mode that is question mark defines the mode it can operate on to or what is the current mode and the cw mode equal once max the esp2 8266 operate in station mode and 80 plus ip mocks one defines the number of connections or multiple connection that we are going to operate with esp8266 then 80 plus cw jp is used to connect to a wifi network it takes two parameters the wifi ssid wifi password then over here it checks five times if it is successfully connected to the wifi network otherwise if it is not successfully connected to the wifi network it will print out connection to wifi is failed please check and if it is successfully like connected to the network within five times or five tries it will print out connected to wifi now at the end we will just we are checking for connection plus, uh, that is using the command 80 plus cwsap and we are printing out the ip and mac address of the module by using the command 80 plus cfsr then set up this is nothing but initialization and calling to the initialization function and inside loop this is the main thing of the program where we are going to call the particular server with some data so this is nothing but a cip start that makes the tcp connection to a server that is first is the channel you want to use then type of connection and the port number with the ip of the server so over here it will search for okay if it has found it will again continue the loop or else it will go on to 80 plus cip status that will check the connection status over here uh, now i have defined 
two arrays that contains all our parameters that we want to send to the server. So over here, so here I have shown how to use get protocol. But if you are interested, you can try out the post one. So this again over here, the parameters are defined like the tag or the tag of the parameter you want to say send over here for me it is name and the value of the parameter that is over here I have defined my name so whatever you want you can define over here and you can add more elements like as in an array so if you are like interested in like uh, sending out temperature or something you can just replace this over here with the temperature data and you can change the parameter type or the array type over here this totally over here forms the get call to the server that is the get protocol we are using the path to the page or the api we are calling onto the server and it appends all these parameters onto the url as it is a get call now the command has to be sent to the sp 26 that is formed over here so it takes like this url plus these parameters plus the protocol version the host and the port and it sends to the server by using the command et plus cip send the connection number the length of the data we are sending and it waits for this uh, symbol to appear now if it, this symbol doesn't appear that means our sp 2 cc module is not ready to receive data and it will close the TCP connection otherwise it will try out to send the data that we defined earlier that is the nothing but CMD now the function read response data is called to get the response from the server or the return data from the server and lastly it calls forever by using this loop only once so if you are interested in like uh, sending out data at regular interval you just need to block this statement over here and provide a delay after which you want to as good afterwards so let's put into the Arduino and we'll check how it is working so it has printed out the sp 2 demo this is the static statement that I have defined over here So over here you can see it has printed out the IT plus GMA. Uh, it has connected to the Wi-Fi. It has printed out send ok that means the data has been successfully sent to the server and over here this is the response from the server which uh, I just uh, like created a simple script that is that will return the data I am sending from my Arduino so this is like over here I have sent only one parameter that is name that equals my name so over here it is returned your name is my So over here I think it need to be like we need to uh, put the UTF-8 character over here for the space uh, otherwise it is taking yes else it is not received by the server so anyway you can change over here and so that's all with this guys uh, just uh, take it to your Arduino and you can run it there just make the necessary changes over here like the SSID password your server IP uh, if you are having a different page you can change over here the page name or the API name you want to call into and the parameter name over here so that's all with this guys thank you thanks for watching see you next time